Palmer in the studio of Perpetual Mojo. I'd like to share with you a really fun way to make polymer clay beads. I like to make a mold. So the first thing I do is use scrap clay to make a shape and I sand it smooth if I need to. This I made very thin because I would like to use it just like that on top of something else. But you can also put two of them together to make a bead. Here's the mold compound and it's a real soft polymer clay. You put it over whatever you're molding. You take that out and then bake it and what you end up with is, and they're not usually this dirty, I've been using chocolate brown clay with this. So for this, I would like the beads to be glittery. So I've just got some fine glitter and I'm going to knead it into a small amount of clay. Just like you're kneading a tiny loaf of bread and then squish it and pull it and turn it to be sure that you've worked it in. To use this mold, you're going to need to spritz it with just a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna press it in. Now I know this is a lot more clay than I would normally use to make this. And that's because Instead of making two and putting them back to back, I'm just going to take this out and finish smoothing it. And it will work very well. Now that shows a little crack and you can smooth that out. I'm going to use a knitting needle. It's just the smoothest thing I know. And I think that looks lovely. Now you can make molds with all kinds of things. You can mold buttons and jewelry pieces and just think of all the fun you could have. Now I'm going to use my needle tool to make it into a bead and as I do I'm going to turn it to make sure that I'm headed toward the bottom center and not going anywhere side to side just straight down. I see it coming through and I'm holding this so gently so that I don't make any marks in it. And now we'll bake it according to directions on the clay package. I like it. I'm gonna make one in every color. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you're inspired to try something like it, and I would love to see pictures. You can email me, Candace at cooltocraft.com with your high resolution photos and a little story about what you did. I'm Candace. Stay crafty, my friends.